So Bethesda have updated Fallout 4 with a new patch, and it seems they have disabled ESP-based mods. I am not sure why they have done this, or whether or not it was intentional. I know they did it for the beta, and I kind of understand why they would want the beta to have no mods, but they've released it as the official patch with a restriction on the ESP mods. Now, don't worry, you can get around it, and I will show you how to. Although at the end of the video, I, I'm going to talk about whether or not you should and let you decide. Uh, however, for those of you that don't know, uh, not all mods come with an ESP. I've got a lot of mods installed currently, and the only one that I use with an ESP is Darker Nights. However, if I now start the game and try to load up my save, what happens is I get this little warning telling me that some objects may not be loaded because one of the, basically one of the plugins is missing. Well, all of the bloody plugins are missing. So I'm going to click no and I'm going to get out of here. If I now run Nexus Mod Manager again, you'll see the Darker Nights ESP has been deselected. And that's the problem. Now, it's very easy to get around this. There are several ways, actually. Uh, the two that I'm going to show you are very, very easy and they work perfectly. Um, so, basically all you do is go along, run Fallout 4 Launcher, but don't play the game yet. Do not play the game. Now run Nexus Mod Manager. You'll see it deselected. Select it. You can actually leave this open if you want, but you don't have to. Close it, and then play. And this time you should have absolutely no problems whatsoever loading the save. So this works perfectly, but you will need to do it each and every time you run the game. You have to run the launcher, run Nexus Mod Manager, re-enable the plugin. Now, there is a way you can avoid doing this over and over again. You can actually set the plugins.txt file to read only. So I go along to its C. Um, it will be users, go for, for me, obviously, whatever user you're logged in as, it will be app data, I think it's local, local, Fallout 4, and plugins.txt. If I just edit that quickly, there you can see the plugins listed. Right click, go down to the bottom, properties, and select read only. Hit apply, and hit OK. Now I can actually close this and reopen it, and it won't matter. It won't matter how many times, it will not be able to change the plugins.txt file. So, I mean, I can keep doing it. It's not going to have access. And when I finally decide to play the game and load, there will be absolutely no problem. There you go. No warning whatsoever. So that works as well. And of course, it's going to mean you don't have to keep running Nexus Mod Manager before you hit the play option. However, before you rush off and do that, be warned, when you next run Nexus Mod Manager, it will ask you, well, it will warn you that plug plugins.txt is read-only, and it will ask you if you want to make it not read-only. If you click no, it will not you will not be able to manage your plugins in Nexus. So if I click no, what will happen is it will load up and I will still have access to my mods, but I will not have access to the plugins tab. Well, I won't have access to any plugins, making the mod manager kind of useless, at least with regards to those type of mods. So I don't recommend actually doing this. There you go, the plugins. Are completely missing. I still have access to the mods and so the non-plugin mods I could probably still manipulate. I actually recommend if you're going to keep using Nexus Mod Manager, you click yes. It now makes it not read-only. I can now change the plugins, but remember you now have the problem. Once you start this, it will deselect them unless you go back and make it read-only. For me, honestly, I think the best solution is to just run Fallout Launcher, then run Nexus Mod Manager, click it, and then hit play. It'll work. It's a little annoying, but there you go. Now, of course, the million dollar question is, should you do this? Is there a reason that Bethesda have disabled the plugins? And the answer is, I honestly don't know. 
Uh, I, I understand why they disabled them for the beta. You want to beta test the patch without mods, obviously. You don't want mods uh, in the way, possibly causing bugs. Could it be they're worried that these early mods might have issues, especially when they were created for a different version of the game? I suppose that could be an issue. I'm, I'm going to be releasing another video very soon on the dangers of ESP mods. But honestly, I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. I, I doubt these patches will change the core architecture in a way that should be an issue. But you never know. It, it's impossible for me to say, no, that is not the reason. I will almost certainly be doing this. Uh, as to whether or not that is wise, I, I can't really say for absolute sure. Anyway, guys, I hope this has helped. If I find anything out, if I get any more information regarding this issue, I will try to post it as quickly as possible. So keep checking back just in case I've got more news for you.